The son of immigrants from Lebanon who made Australia their home, but he was born with chronic asthma. He spent the first six months of his life in an incubator. At the age of 11, his dad took him to the gym to teach him how to defend himself against bullies, and then that he fell in love with boxing. A great amateur career, but then another setback as a motorcycle accident prevented him from being selected for the Olympics. As a pro, Billy won the world title and competed for the green and gold belt far above his natural weight. Then, the hardest blow of all. Billy was diagnosed with stomach cancer. He was going to have to undergo chemotherapy. And Billy hesitated. It's natural to fear the fear and trepidation because we're all human. But the bravest of the brave overcome and press on and fight back. Billy was determined to somehow come through this ordeal for his family. So for six agonizing months, Billy underwent treatment that took him to the very outer limits. He lost his hair, endured grinding headaches, nausea, sleeplessness, and constant steering pain. Fighting and resisting with absolutely everything he learned as a boxer, and then even more. He was damaged, but not out. He got back up, and that's what it's all about. But it's really a biography entitled True Heart. He inspires and encourages those facing the terrors of cancer. In his pro career, Billy did fall 56 fights. Then there was number 57. A fight he had to win because it was for the fight of his life. But is such a lucky man. He has the love and support of white Berry and he did, and his entire family. No blessing is greater. I can't think of anyone who deserves this champion of hope more than Billy did. Why champion of hope? Because hope springs eternal. Billy did a champion of the ring, a champion of life, a champion of hope, and our champion forever. <laughs> We have the good board of governors, Frank Hammond,